Like and subscribe oh. now, or you're gonna have bad luck this week. <laughs> Most of the time when we think about carnivores, lions and tigers, alligators, or even humans come to mind. But what most of us don't think of is plants. In fact, there are at least 44 different types of meat-munching plants out there, and more are being discovered every day. From the vicious Venus flytrap to the plant that feasts on sheep, here are 10 of the wildest plants that eat animals. Number 10, the Venus flytrap. The Venus flytrap is to other carnivorous plants what the Tyrannosaurus rex is to dinosaurs. Maybe not the biggest, but certainly the most well-known member of its breed. Despite what you may have seen in movies, the Venus flytrap is fairly small. This entire plant is no more than half a foot in length, and its sticky eye-like straps are only about an inch long. The Venus flytrap, native to the North Carolina and South Carolina subtropical wetlands. One interesting fact about the Venus flytrap, to cut down on false alarms from falling leaves and pieces of debris, this plant's trap will snap shut only if an insect touches two different interior hairs in the course of 20 seconds. However, this isn't the most dangerous plant that we have here. Next one will blow your mind. Number 9. Cobra Lily a lot of plants on this list, perhaps all of them, will make you feel like they were taken out of some science fiction movie. Like many other carnivorous plants, the cobra lily grows best in places with very few nutrients in the native soil and poor access to other means of sustenance. These conditions are most commonly believed to lead to carnivorous tendencies in plants. Despite its name, the cobra lily isn't technically a lily, and it certainly isn't a cobra. It gets its name from the snake-like appearance, and the similarities don't stop there. Much like snakes, the cobra lily prefers its food living. Unlike real snakes, however, the carnivorous creature can't move at high speeds and must rely on some rather ingenious tactics instead. In order to capture its prey, the cobra lily uses a combination of directional hairs and lubricated secretions in order to cause insects to slip into the plant. Once inside, the prey can no longer see the tiny exit hole, but instead they see a number of false openings and and trapped insects will exhaust themselves trying to get through all of these false openings. Once exhausted, the insect will fall into the bottom of the trap and be broken down by digestive fluids. Number 8. Puya chilensis Most plants on this list usually eat small animals, but have you ever heard of a plant eating a whole sheep? <laughs> nope, that's not clickbait. This plant really is that bizarre. The beast I am talking about is the Puya chilensis. Looking at these spiky things, you must be thinking, how in the world can this swallow a whole sheep? Well, it actually doesn't have to swallow anything. It kills the innocent animal in a much more sinister way. Puya chilensis, which can reach two meters high up in the air, looks sort of like aloe leaves, but in between, they have huge, sharp spines that jut out past them. The spikes actually trap the animals with thick furs, like sheep. The poor, unlucky creature then starves to death and falls to the ground. After a few days, it decomposes at the base of the plant, providing vibrant, localized food for the plant. The whole process really is gruesome as hell. Swallowing the entire sheep sounds way better now, doesn't it? Number 7. Brochina reducta. What if I told you that the pineapple has a very twisted relative? I know it's hard for us to think of plants the same way we do of animals and human beings, but plants are also living beings, just like us. They also split into families. And yes, the pineapple does have a carnivorous relative, and it's called Brocina reducta. Both the Brocina and the pineapple belong to the bromeliad family, which also includes Spanish mosses and many succulents with thick leaves. The Brocinia has long patches that allow it to absorb and reflect ultraviolet light, which makes insects go crazy. This plant releases a smell like many others on this list, and the bugs can't help but come closer. Just like that, this harmless looking plant ends their lives of many insects in Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, and and Brazil. Experts in carnivorous plants were actually not sure if this plant belongs to the group, but they finally learned in 2005 that Brocinia has those digestive enzymes that are common in animal eating plants. Number 6. Tropical Pitcher Plant The main thing that distinguishes the tropical pitcher plant genus Nephethys from the other carnivorous vegetables in this scale, the pitchers of the plant can reach over a foot in height, ideal for capturing and digesting not only insects, but small lizards, amphibians, and even mammals. The doomed animals are attracted by the plant's sweet-scented nectar, and once they fall into the pitcher, digestion can take as long as two months. There are about 150 Nepathy species
species scattered around the Eastern Hemisphere, native to Madagascar, Southeast Asia, and Australia. Also known as monkey cup, the pitchers of some of these plants are used as drinking cups by monkeys, which are too large to find themselves in the wrong end of the food chain. Number 5. The Water Wheel Plant the next carnivorous plant in this video is quite a peculiar one for sure. First, it's one of the few plants capable of rapid movement, a very important quality to its survival. On the other hand, it is completely rootless, hence the need to be on water throughout its entire life. It's also the most widely distributed animal eating plant being endemic to Australia, Europe, Africa, and Asia, more specifically along migratory bird routes. To capture aquatic vertebrates, it depends on their leaves that grow in whorls of up to 9 inches. Under ideal conditions, these whorls are produced quickly, with at least one new whorl developing per day. The trap leaves are lined on the inside with hairs that sense contact with any aquatic invertebrate. Once contact has been established, the snaps strap in as little as 10 to 20 milliseconds, making the water wheel plant one of the fastest movers in the plant kingdom. But this mechanism is not possible in any any kind of water. The traps can only snap in warm conditions, typically over 20 degrees Celsius. Number 4. Roradula The next plant I'll introduce you to is quite evil. Native to South Africa, Roradula is a carnivorous plant with a twist. It doesn't actually digest the insects it captures with its sticky hairs, but leaves this task to a bug species called Pameridia roradula. It doesn't actually digest the insects it captures with its sticky hairs, but leaves that task to a bug species called Permidia roradulae, with which it has a symbiotic relationship. What does the roradula get in return? Well, the excreted waste of the Permidia roradulae. It's especially rich in nutrients that the plant absorbs. By the way, 40 million year old fossils of roradula have been discovered in the Baltic region of Europe a sign that this plant was much more widespread during the Cenozoic era than it is now. Number 3. Moccasin Plant The moccasin plant was originally discovered in the southwestern region of Australia, also called Genus Cephalotus. This plant checks all the proper boxes for any insect that has fallen victim to it. The moccasin plant attracts insects with its sweet and nice scent, which then lures them into the plant's moccasin-shaped pitchers, where the prey will be slowly digested. The plants usually confuse the insects with the lids of their pitchers, leaving translucent cells that would cause insects to hit themselves silly while trying to escape the trap. One feature that makes the moccasin plant different and unusual is its close relationship to flowering plants like oak trees and apple trees, unlike other carnivorous pitcher plants that can be easily chalked up to convergent evolution. Number 2. Trifeophyllum This hard to pronounce plant is native to the Ivory Coast, Sierra Leone, and Liberia. Unlike previous entries in our list, this plant doesn't utilize a pitcher shape to trap prey. In fact, there is very little subtle or sneaky about this massive plant. Trifeophyllum has three distinct stages of life, each with its own unique leaf shape, but the various looks of this plant is far from the most distinguished feature. In fact, the first thing you will probably notice about this stunning plant is the phenomenal size. The Trifeophyllum can boast long twinning stems that are only 4 inches wide, but nearly 165 feet long. These staggering measurements make it the largest largest known carnivorous plant in the world, and the seeds they produce are pretty impressive too. They are bright red, disc shaped, and measure nearly 3 inches in diameter. Very little is known about these giant plants, and scientists are still trying to determine exactly what they prefer to eat. But even though they could probably trap a human, they seem to eat mainly insects that are smaller than tropical bot flies. Number 1. Portuguese Sundew You probably thought all of the animal-eating plants on this list were probably found in humid and exotic locations, like a remote jungle in the southern hemisphere. But that's not the case with the Portuguese Sundew. This plant actually grows in soil that lacks a lot of the nutrients necessary for a plant's survival. You can find it in Portugal, Spain, and Morocco. So what can this plant do to make up for its lack of nutrients in the soil? Eat insects, of course! Just like many of the plants I've shown you here today, Today, the Portuguese sundew fascinates nearby insects with 
a tempting aroma that makes them get closer and ultimately get trapped by the sticky substance on their leaves. The plant then is able to dissolve the bugs by using its specialized digestive enzymes and absorbs all of the nutrients that the Mediterranean soil fails to provide. That's what I call survival. You gotta do what it takes to stay alive in a place with limited resources, and the Portuguese sundew is a great example of that. Which one of these plants did you find the most terrifying and also fascinating? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.